hello guys this is summer once again from sony tech okay so in this one i'm going to show you how to use tailwind instead of react native that sounds cool right okay so stay tuned i'm going to show you a very simple way you're not using any provider or not doing any config file with tailwind or whatever this is just going to be an important installing the package okay and i would like to say this before we proceed that thank you thank you thank you thank you so so much for helping synthetic academy reach its very first milestone which is the thousand subscribers i'm really really happy and glad i'm going to make lots of content for you guys thank you so much fam okay so i have open here in my vs code a uh, simple project which, which is an onboarding screen okay so when you click on that it takes you to the login screen we're not going to create this but maybe i'll do a video on how to create something similar to this okay so stay tuned okay so first of all we're going to head over to uh our browser and of course you have to search for twrnc which stands for tailwind react native class names so you click on the very first search results you see from npm js i'm going to take you here and you can come here and grab this guy and install this guy okay okay so i've installed this guy already so if you check my package.json file Oh, what is it keeping long? What is it keeping long? Okay, so I have it here. Okay. Okay, so cool. Okay, so with this package, it supports most of the Tailwind win classes and it has support for dark mode and whatever. Okay, so after installing this thing, simply have to come and grab this guy and include it into the file you want to apply your Tailwind styles. Okay, so I think I'm going to do that in my login page. Yes, login page. Okay, so I'm going to put this guy at the very top of my components. Yep. Okay. Okay, so let's add some styling to I already have an account spot. Okay. I already have an account. Where are you? No, 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 no. I can't I locate it. Oh, sorry guys. I'm so so happy. Yeah. Okay, so here. Okay, so to add the styles, first of all, you can or you can. Okay, so you just have to get rid of this guys. And you just have to simply do T W and back tick. So do in and back tick and you can add any style you want to. Let's say I can do BG red and two hundred. Boom okay i'm not seeing it okay you see i can even give it a pattern of let's say three and boom you see guys this is super super sick you can do the margin top of let's say four wow okay so you can do anything to in here this is super super easy okay so let me undo everything i did here let me show you how to use this in custom styles because it supports that too okay so to add custom styles what you need to do is just to add this which is a square bracket instead of this you can do the comma and do your tw and put your two in styles here too okay so i can do my bg let's let's do blue yeah blue of uh, uh 300 yeah okay you see us so this is another way to uh, use both styles and it supports almost everything you can go through the adopts okay so uh to continue i think you will need to install this extension i don't know why my pc is being slow <laughs> yes but i'm happy i don't care about this pc okay so you need to install this extension called tailwind tailwind css intelligence yeah so this very guy from tailwind labs i want to be giving a link to this of the extension in the description as well as the package okay so guys thanks so much for watching this one don't forget to give this video a like comment share and subscribe bye